Hi guys, it's Alexis, so welcome back to my channel, and today I'm filming January favorites, and it is so crazy to be saying that this is the first favorite video I'm filming of 2015, and I honestly can't believe it's already Valentine's Day, it's already February 4th, and that is honestly so crazy, but anyways, I'm, this is just all my products I used through the month of January. I don't have very much this month as I did in previous months. Just because I kind of stuck with the same products I used in the previous months. So there's a few new things, a few different things, and the, some uh, things are the same. But without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the products I use like in the shower and like face washes and lotions and all that. So the first thing we're going to start with is my conditioner. In January, my hair is honestly like my face, my skin, and my hair gets so dry when it's cold. And it's really irritating and annoying, but this conditioner right here was a lifesaver because it makes my hair soft and shiny when it usually gets rough and all that. But it is the John Frieda collection, and it is the Root Awakening Dry Hair Conditioner. And this is what it looks like. And it's just in this pretty green bottle, and it smells so good. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like lotion when it comes out, but it's conditioner. And this is just my favorite conditioner in the month of January. As you can tell, it's pretty much almost all gone. The gone, but I already this is the second bottle I'm on. So you're like, so if you're wondering. But yeah. The next thing I really liked in the month of January was I, you guys seen this multiple times is my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. And this is the best face wash ever. If you're trying to find a face wash that works like an angel, get this one. I am telling you, it works super good and I really like it. And I'm a huge fan of it. So you need to get this face wash, and my, my face is just, you don't understand how dry it gets, like my skin is dry right now, and it's really irritating, but this is a really good face wash to keep your face clear. The next thing is my Vanna Cream Moisturizing Skin Cream, and this is skin cream, but I use it on my face so my face doesn't get overly dry and like pale, because my face has done that before, but I started using this, and my brother also uses this same lotion for his eczema, but I don't have eczema. So I use it for my face and it works really good in it, like it heals it fast because my face got really dry within this week and I've been using this every day this week and my face is getting back to normal thankfully with this miracle Vanna cream and you can pick this up at any drugstore but I just really like this and I used it a lot in the month of January. Like I could show you guys, there's pretty much basically nothing left, just like a few more uses but yes. The next thing I really loved this month of January and December, I'm literally obsessed with it, like I'm sad it's not in stores no more, is this Noel ba Vanilla Bean Noel Bath and Body Works Lotion. This is the best smelling lotion I've ever smelled. I got it during Christmas, it was what I got for Christmas video, or it was in one of my hauls, but I really love this lotion, like I am obsessed with it, you don't understand. Three bottles, this is the third one, I am so obsessed with it, and it has the Ultra Shea body cream so it's like that really thick lotion if you could tell like when it's coming up but it smells so good and I love it so much and this is my most favorite lotion ever so this was a huge January favorite it's probably the most favorite thing I have this month but yes <clears throat> and the last thing I guess you could kind of recommend is like this kind of category is this deodorant and it is honestly my favorite deodorant ever I never really used Axe, I always used this, like Dove and Secret, but I decided to use Axe this time, and this is what it looks like, and it's just black, and it's, excuse me, <laughs> it's the Excite set, and it's just pink, and it smells really good, and it looks like this, and I really love how Axe smells like when guys wear it or whatever, but I love how it smells, and it has the girl tint to it, so I'm not smelling like a guy, and I just had the math matching body wash with it. But I used it all. But anyways, this is just my favorite deodorant I used in the month of January. And I'm still using. Okay, the next category is kind of just like perfumes. I only have two perfumes that I really love in the month of January. But the first one is this Wild Madagascar Vanilla. And I got this towards the end of January, so that's why there's still lots in it. But I have been obsessed with it ever since I got it at Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. This is like my most favorite perfume right now. And this is just what it looks like. And it's in this cute little maroon case with the gold top. And when I bought it at the store, it didn't have the cap, so that's really irritating me. I don't know, I'm OCD with that. But 
It doesn't have the cap, but that doesn't matter. It smells really good, and I really love this one. And this is an absolute fave of perfume. My favorite body mist is also from Bath & Body Works, and I got this right after Christmas-ish, in January. And it's a Sugar Plum Dream, and I love it so much. It's the best body mist. I always just spray it on, like, before every passing period or during passing period for each class or whatever, and I really like it. And it's just purple, and I was going to get the Noelle, like, the lotion. I was going to get the perfume of it, but since it's, like, a Christmas theme, I wouldn't want a perfume like that all year round. This one just smells like freshly spring, and I really like this one. So, yes. The next thing I'm going to show you guys are hair products. And my hair products have not changed dramatically at all from my last videos I've done. I still use the same heat protectant and all that good stuff. But I'm just going to show you two new things I started using. So when I don't straighten my hair the next day or when I'm just letting it dry natural or I'm fishtailing it or anything that involves keeping my hair wet, I use this VO5 Salon Series Anti-Frizz and Shine Styling Cream. And it just looks like this, and it's really nice. Um, I think it works really good personally for myself. I mean, I really like, I really like it. I just run it through my hair when it's wet, put it on the ends, and it helps your hair. It helps your hair not be really frizzy, because you know when you let your hair dry naturally, you put nothing in. It's just like, and that's what my hair looks like. It looks like an elephant. But anyways, this is a really good salon series cream. So that's just a new thing I've been using. This next thing is this uh, three day straight John for your frizzies. And I love this. I was afraid to try it at first because I was like, how's it going to keep your hair straight for three days? But it honestly works so amazing. I cannot tell you how much I love this product. I realized I like a lot of stuff by John Frieda. But I really like it. So you blow dry. After you get out of the shower, you just spray this all over your hair. And then you blow dry it and brush it as you're blow drying it. And right after you blow dry, your hair is just like so straight and soft and shiny. And then you just straighten it. And then don't don't wash your hair the next day. Because it's just going to be so soft and shiny and straight and perfect the next day. And then you wash it the day after that. And then your hair just stays like that for... And my hair stood like that for a week. And I haven't done it yet because I usually do it on Sunday nights. So it lasts the whole week. But I really like it. It makes your hair soft. Blech. Soft and shiny and really pretty, and let me tell you, my hair was so soft. It was like a blanket the whole week, but I really like it, and this is what it looks like if you didn't see, and I still have some in there. I thought I was going to use it all up in one use, but it lasted, so. The next thing I have are, they're all kind of miscellaneous things. I only have, have one candle and this other thing, but I will show you guys my candle. So as you guys know, I'm obsessed with candles. I love candles from Bath & Body Works. And just all those places. I was going to tell you guys the other one, but I totally lost train of thought on it. I think it's Woodwick, like, you know, when you light it and it sounds like wood flames. Yeah, whatever. But this one's a, a holiday candle, because I still have all my holiday stuff. But it is in the sugar cookie scent, and it just looks like this, and I love this one. Eh. It smells so good. Like, it smells just so sweet and refreshing, and I really like it. I'm a bit obsessed with it. I haven't really lit it as much because I have another candle that I'm still trying to work on since summer-ish or sometime. But this is just my candle I've been obsessed with in the month of January. I just had it lit every day in January just to kind of put the vibe in my room. But this is what it looks like and yes. The next thing that I like in the month of January is this glycolic acid spa strength callus treatment. And it's just this great little treatment for your feet, like, you know, when you get the calluses on your feet. Like, your feet get rough, like, come on, girl, your feet get rough. But anyways, I got this at Bath & Body Works, and it's the True Blue Spa, and it smells really good. I really like it. It's like the minty scent, but it's strong, and this is just what it looks like. And I really like it, and it's really good. It makes your feet so soft, like, super soft, so... I really like using this in the month of January, even though I feel like it's a summer product, obviously, because your feet are hidden all winter. It literally snowed today, like so much snow. I hate snow, but that's not the point. This is just what I really liked. Now, the last things I want to show you are my favorite makeup products. They're not really new makeup products. It's what I got for Christmas, and I had a whole month to try it out. And they ended up being really nice and becoming one of my favorites. So... The, first, the two things are from Avon, and it's the Makeup Setting Spray and the Face Perfector. 
Now this is what the makeup setting spray looks like. And then, uh, before Christmas, I needed a fake. Uh, I just cannot talk today. For nothing. Why? Anyways, it's a makeup setting spray, and I needed one of these so bad. Just it's a spray like this, and you just spray it on when you're done with all your makeup, and it sets all your makeup in and holds it in good. And this works really good. I really like it. I would like to try out some other ones too. My makeup now it lasts pretty much all the way till I get home. Then like my makeup will start coming off, you know. But I really like this one, and this is what I've been using. Is the Avon Makeup Setting Spray. So I really like that. I used it the whole month of January, obviously. And then the next thing is the Face Perfector. And it's kind of like a primer and concealer, I guess you could say. But I don't know. This is what it looks like. And it kind of works as a primer. Not really. Like, it's not like a full-on primer. But it's like a Face Perfector, a primer, and concealer all in one. And it's also like sunscreen. But this is what it looks like. And yes, I really like that. It makes your skin really soft. Now the last thing is kind of a big thing, like, it's also makeup, but it's this makeup kit I got from Ulta, the Glam and Glow, and I still have not taken the tag off, why, because I'm so cool, but this is what it looks like, and if you didn't see my last video and what I got for Christmas, it just comes with all the, ugh, it just comes with all this stuff in it, and I've really been using it all. The stuff I've been using the most, let me get it out, because it's like, I've been using the powder and the bronzer. Obviously, you could tell I use so much of the bronzer. I love this bronzer. I just want to go to the store and get it already, and I love the blush. But the bronzer and blush, um, the bronzer and powder is something I used a lot. And then I also tend to use a lot is this white eyeshadow, the Iceland, just to brighten your eyes and highlight your brows. But I really like that in there. And then the other thing that I like in here, I use every day, is the brow powder. And I just fill in my brows to make them darker because my eyebrows are pretty light. Like, these are my natural eyebrows. I just darken them. And I use the color Deep, and it looks really pretty. And I just use the lip products in it also. These two. Because they're pretty cute. And really like how they look together. And, yeah. So, this is basically all my January favorites. It's not a lot. But it's everything I used in the month of January that were my favorites, and I really like them. Before I forget, I'm just doing a favorite piece of jewelry. It's this necklace I'm wearing, and I got it in Mexico from my grandma. I believe that's where she got it from, and I really like it. It is so pretty, and I'm obsessed with it. I've been, I'm obsessed with wearing it with Phoenix and the U, like, shape and necklines like this. And I think it's really pretty, and I really like it. So this is my favorite piece of jewelry I've been loving all month of January. So this is now everything officially I'm obsessed with in the month of January. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And a comment down below what you guys would like to see next. I'm trying to do a Q&A, but I need you guys to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter. And just tweet me questions, and I will post a picture on Instagram. And you guys can comment down questions below. And I may or may not post a video on this channel asking you guys questions. I don't know yet. But anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.